everybody. Today I am in Indianapolis and I'm in a large neighborhood in Indianapolis and a popular one that I've actually talked about in other videos before, but it's worth mentioning in several different contexts because there is so much going on here and it is so popular and it has so much character. So we're going to talk a little bit more about this neighborhood and what's around it and what it just might be like to live in a place like this. So stay tuned. Hey everybody, I'm Jason Compton with the Compton Home Group. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything there is to know about Indianapolis in general, any of the cities and towns surrounding Indianapolis, then make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also tap that little bell so you're notified every time we do a new video each and every week. Now we get calls and texts and reach outs of all kinds from people all over the country. So if you have questions about Indianapolis, any of the surrounding cities and towns, then make sure you reach out any way that you know how. We'll always have your back with those questions and we'll certainly have your back when it comes time for you to make your move to Indianapolis. So again, today I'm just a little bit north of downtown Indianapolis and this is actually a pretty big neighborhood. So it's pretty rectangularly shaped and it's kind of skinny going from north to south it, it really covers a heck of a lot of ground honestly it goes all the way up to kessler boulevard on the north roughly it's not perfect along there and then if you go to the west it's meridian street and so that's part of where it gets its name from and meridian street is essentially us 31 that goes straight through indianapolis through the south side and really all the way through the north side if you were to take us 31 to the north out of indianapolis you're going to go through carmel you're going to go through westfield you're going to go past sheridan indiana and eventually you end up in south bend indiana and of course a lot of people know south bend because notre dame is there but us 31 meridian street western border here and if you get a little bit west of this you get into butler tarkington and a little bit north i'm going to cross the street here even though it's not a busy street you get a little bit to the north you can get into another really popular area it's actually a separate town it's meridian hills even though people think of it as a neighborhood it's not terribly large not near the size of a place like meridian kessler is but that's a little bit to the northwest of here and then if you go to the east the eastern border generally for meridian kessler it's not perfect but it runs most of the eastern border of Meridian Kessler, it's the Monon Trail. And the Monon Trail is something that's, of course, very, very popular, very famous. It's just extremely well known in Indianapolis because you can take it essentially from downtown Indianapolis all the way through Westfield to the north. So all the way through Indianapolis, all the way through Carmel, all the way through Westfield, and even north of that. And there are plans to extend it even further. So really cool trail and it borders the eastern side of Meridian Kessler. And then if you go all the way to the south, it goes pretty far south. It goes all the way down to 38th Street. So in this huge area, there's a lot to offer. So if you're looking at Indianapolis and know you're moving to Indianapolis, or even if you live around Indy or some of the suburbs and think, I wanna move into the city and I want, of course, a nice neighborhood. I want a place that is in the city and has that city feel. I want to have older homes or at least some homes with some serious character. Meridian Hills does not disappoint. So lots and lots of homes of a ton of different sizes. If you go up and down Meridian Street, you're going to see homes that are, you know, some are over 12,000 square feet. I mean, they're crazy big and the amount of space inside one of those homes would be pretty tough to fill. And then you can get some homes that are much smaller than that. And that 3,000 to 4,000 square foot range, even though that's technically really, I don't think a very small home, but you can get that. But they're gonna have an older feel, of course, and you're gonna get trees like this one here. This tree is unbelievable. This tree here is probably more than 200 years old. Lots and lots of trees through here that are old growth so they're well over 100 years old even over 200 years old in a lot of cases and then you're going to have sidewalks too so while there's some busy streets around meridian kessler like college avenue that's very busy you're definitely looking both ways when you cross those streets and then just off to the west here you're going to get meridian street and that's definitely one of the busier streets i wouldn't say in all of indianapolis but it's a very busy street definitely a major thoroughfare for people coming from meridian kessler to downtown or vice versa you can take some other streets but meridian is definitely gonna be one of the main streets that you're gonna use for that. Very, very busy, but then you've got all these streets like this, which of course have cars coming up and down them, but you have sidewalks here and relatively quiet and relatively safe too. But it's a neighborhood that you're looking for, you know, where it is gonna have all of those, those features. Lots of families, you have people of all different ages living in a place like this. You've got people who are older, and have downsized, or they've just lived in that house for a very long time into young families, you're gonna have a huge mix going through a place like Meridian Kessler. So if you've got 
a little bit of money to spend. Certainly, there's no beating around the bush with Meridian Kessler. It's definitely not the cheapest place to live in Indianapolis. But if you're looking between, let's say, 500000 and a million dollars or so, you're going to have some options. And you'll have, in most cases, quite a few options because Meridian Kessler is so big. And it can get a little bit more expensive in places in Meridian Kessler that don't give you as much home for the money compared to other parts of Meridian Kessler that might give you a little bit more home for the money based on where they are in Meridian Kessler. So I mentioned that there are things to do in Meridian Kessler and there's actually a lot. So it's one of those neighborhoods where you can live in a place like this with a feel like this where I feel like I'm just in a neighborhood, in an urban neighborhood, a city neighborhood where you definitely have homes that are unique, but they're not exactly far apart from one another. So if you live in a home, you will have neighbors and hopefully you like those neighbors and you get along with those neighbors. But sometimes that's really cool because some of those neighbors can end up being some incredibly good friends. But you're gonna have those opportunities, definitely. But you can walk out of your house and either take a very short drive or walk or of course, ride your bike to a number of different places that you're going to find in Meridian Kessler. Meridian Kessler is still to this day. Now, years and years ago, I moved to Indianapolis in the 90s and I was young then and I would go to Broad Ripple quite a bit, which is a place for some of the nightlife in Indianapolis. But Broad Ripple is really pretty much attached to Meridian Kessler. In fact, some of the bars and restaurants that people will go to and they'll think that it's Broad Ripple, but technically it's not. It's within the confines of Meridian Kessler, honestly. So Broad Ripple is a little smaller than what most people think, and the true definition of Broad Ripple is, is certainly smaller than even what I have in my own mind. So you can leak down into Meridian Kessler here, and there's a lot of super unique, very, very cool bars, restaurants, and coffee shops sprinkled throughout different parts of Meridian Kessler. Now there's some places, of course, that have a higher concentration of those. Like if you go over to Pennsylvania and 49th, there's a little concentration of places over there, Happy Patichu, Annapolis, and Napoli's was, at least years ago, there's so many good restaurants, but that was one of my wife and I's favorite places to go when we wanted some pizza. We wanted some wine or beer and pizza. Napoli's was fantastic. And they have other great food there, but their pizza is kind of unique and different, and it's a little more upscale and fancy. You know, it's not like a Papa John's or a Domino's or something like that at all, but neat place, and Cafe Patichu is a great breakfast. Lunch place, it's not the only location they have in Indianapolis. There are a ton of them now, but that Napolese, it's not the only location either. But at the time, years and years ago, you know, that was really your only option. So that is a little concentration of places. And you go north and south on college, that's of course when you get into Broad Ripple. You can go so far north, you get up to 62nd Street, which is Broad Ripple Avenue. And then that is where you can get into a ton of restaurants and bars, especially the bars that are typically thought of with the nightlife in the area. But when you go further south on college and you get past past 62nd and you're coming all the way down to pretty close to 38th street or so that's where you can get little pockets here and there of a lot of the different restaurants associated with meridian kessler not necessarily broad up even though it's that little bit of a mix and you can get over a little further to the east right along the monon trail in mama corollas which is sort of a mainstay restaurant been around for years and years and years it's definitely a place that you have to experience and go to you know if you're in this area for any length of time there are plenty of restaurants i'd say if you're visiting indianapolis where should i go to get the indianapolis experience mama corollas it could be one of those it's on the list at least if you like italian food and there's some others that I would think you'd probably need to visit before then, like St. Elmo's Steakhouse. That one is absolutely the epitome of downtown Indianapolis. And there's so much history there with that particular restaurant too. So you have to hit that one. But Mama Crow is a super cool, very, very cool place, but it's in Meridian Kelster. It's right along the Monon Trail. And you could consider that Southern Broderpool or Sobro, but really it's part of this neighborhood here. And that's not a long walk, amazingly, from where I'm standing. And actually, if you go to Mama Corolla's and eat a giant fat lasagna, then you might want to walk that off a little bit and go back to your house after dinner. It might actually feel pretty good or walk along the Monon Trail right there next to the restaurant. So a really, really cool location with the feel that you get with the homes and the fact that it is incredibly residential, very established, tons of trees. Even though I'm about to walk in just a little bit of sun right here, this is not exactly super typical for Meridian Kessler. Lots and lots of character. Affordability, not really. 
that's not the cheapest place, but it's because it has so many things that so many people want. So it's gonna help to drive the price up for sure. But that location in Indianapolis too, being close to downtown, so if you work downtown Indianapolis, not a long drive to get there. If you work north side, let's say up in Castleton or a little bit north of here in Willow, which would be St. Vincent Hospital, Michigan Road, 86th Street, over in that particular area. Or you work north of here, you work in Carmel. Carmel's a decent sized city, a little over 100,000 people. And there's a lot of people that don't live in Carmel, but work in Carmel. Well, of course there are people that live there and work there too. This is a pretty good location for doing that. In fact, you'd be going the opposite direction of most people during the morning and evening rush hour. And that would be pretty advantageous because there's a lot of people that live in Carmel and work in Indianapolis and come the opposite direction. But you have to be looking for these particular things. If you want that suburban feel, you want really new construction, you want just the, the assurance that, let's say you're away from everything Indianapolis, Meridian Kessler is probably not gonna be a fit for you. You have to want this particular type of environment. You need it to be urban, you need it to be close to things, you're okay living close to people, seeing people, even though there's not a ton out right now, but I'm here very early on a weekday morning. So a lot of people are at work or at school or summer camps or different things like that. But you have to want those things. If you want that super mega privacy, you can get some in your backyard. But if you want some space, this is not really gonna be the place for you. This is that tighter living with lots and lots of character. So Meridian Kessler is definitely one of those places when people say, you know, I want to live in the city in Indianapolis. Where should I live? Well, I don't know where you should live because your preferences, your likes can be certainly different than mine. But I can tell you what Meridian Kessler has to offer and you'd have to decide for yourself if it's, if it's a pretty good fit. There are other neighborhoods that might be similar to this one but there are a lot of other neighborhoods that are much smaller. So there's just a lot more opportunity, a lot more things to do in a place like Meridian Kessler. So if you have questions at all about this particular neighborhood, Meridian Kessler, or any of the surrounding ones in Indianapolis, or any of the surrounding cities or towns, then be sure you reach out. Until the next one, we'll see you later.